All right, so we are back to the over the wire bandit challenge. Uh, and in this video, uh, we're going to be taking a look at level 12. Um, so this level uh, is dealing uh, primarily with a uh, hex dump. Um, and so you can see that the uh, this entire level uh, entails the following. So it tells us that the password for the next level is stored in the um, in the file data.txt, uh, which is a hex dump of a file that has been repeatedly compressed. Um, so for this level, it may be useful to create a working directory under the temp directory in which uh, you can create using the make the, the make dir command. Uh, so for example, we specify the directory name as my name one two three something unique, and then we can copy the data file in and we can start working with it. It also gives us a link to Wikipedia uh, regarding what a hex dump is. So I'll just go through it uh, really really quickly. So it tells us here in computing a hex dump is a hexadecimal view of computer data from RAM uh, or from a computer file or storage device. So again, looking at a hex dump of data is usually done in the context of debugging or reverse engineering. So again, it gives you an idea of the file type that you're dealing with. So in this case, if I just, uh, let me just go back into the home directory and we cut the contents of the data.txt file, you can see that it tells us uh, that the file type is a .bin file. Uh, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to use the xxd command, which again is a utility that allows us to make a hex dump or to do the reverse of that. So uh, what we want to do is to do exactly that. We want to revert or to perform a reverse. Um, uh, we want to perform a reverse of the hex dump and get the, the output of that particular file. And then we, uh, we can take a look at the extension and then create that. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to say xxdr and we're going to say data.txt and I'll output this uh, into another file. But again, remember, we have to do this in the working directory uh, because we will pretty much have uh, adequate permissions to you know, make files, modify, etc. Um, so we want to copy this or the first thing we want to do is we want to create a directory under temp and I'll just call mine Alexis. There we are. So that exists and I'll copy uh, data.txt sorry uh, into TMP Alexis and we will now navigate into that directory. So I'll say TMP Alexis. And if I list the files in here, you can see it exists. So again, XXD, and uh, we want to reverse this and we're going to say data.txt. Uh, and we want to output that into data and I'm going to hit enter. So if we can see we have the two files. So if I now display the file type for data, um, you can see it tells us that this is a uh, a gzip a compressed data and that was data2.bin. So we want, we need to decompress this. So let's get started. So uh, again, let's check if we have gzip here. Yeah, we do. So if we take a look at the man pages here, so man gzip, um, man gzip. So this allows us to compress, decompress. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, how do we decompress? That is use, done using D. I believe that's all. That's the case with most of the compression utilities. So we will say gzip D. Uh, but before we do that, we need to change the file extension. So I'm just going to say move uh, data and we'll just call it, uh, we'll call it a new file name. So we'll just call it file.gz and now we can say uh, gzip uh, d and we'll say file.gz and hit enter. And now if we list the files, you can see we now have the file file. So we say say file file to display the file type. And that tells us we're now dealing with a bzip2 uh, compressed file. So I think it's been compressed multiple times. Um, so do we have bzip2 installed here? Yeah, there we are bzip2. So let us change the extension from file to file.bz2, I believe is the extension. Uh, man bzip2, uh, bzip um, we can, uh, let's look at how to decompress. I believe it's D as well, but I just want to be sure. Yeah, decompress is D. All right, so bzip2 um, decompress and file.bz2, we hit enter. That displays uh, the file again. So file, file, and that tells us we're dealing with a gzip compressed file again, which was data4.bin. Um, so we need to do that again. So move, um, we're going to say file, file.gz, uh, and I'm going to now say gzip. Uh, decompress file.gz, hit enter. And if we check the file type for the file again, we can see now it's a tar archive, finally. So we're going to say um, 
dar extract file and uh, we're going to say file uh, but before we do that we need to change the extension I keep on forgetting that so file file dot tar and we say tar extract the file file dot tar hit enter if we list the files now uh, we have data 5 dot bin all right so if we just check the file type file data 5 uh, dot bin we hit enter we can see it's also a tar archive so let's get rid of file dot tar and let's change uh, we'll just call it data now because that's much more simpler and let's also get rid of data dot txt so that we are just dealing with the actual file at it at uh, in its current state as far as we have compressed it so again let me just check it once more one more time uh, so sorry uh, file data 5 dot bin and that tells us it's a tar archive so I'm just going to say move uh, data 5 dot bin into data dot tar and uh, we'll extract this so tar extract file uh, data dot tar hit enter we now have data 6 dot bin file uh, data data 6 dot bin and we hit enter so this is bzip2 so again we have to uh, we have to change the uh, the file extension so we'll just say move data 6.bin into uh, we'll just say data dot gzip uh, or oh, sorry bzip2 so bzip2 um, I believe uh, yes I think that's the extension so we say bzip2 decompress uh, we say uh, data dot bzip2 hit enter we now have a data uh, a data file so again we'll just uh, sorry i keep on typing file so uh, there we are so that tells us it's a tar archive so again let's change it so we say move data into uh, we'll just call it data dot tar i believe there isn't a tar file here so there we are so we can say tar extract file data dot tar hit enter and we now have data 8 dot bin file data 8 uh, dot bin hit enter this is gzip2 <laughs> all right so this is this is, this is actually taking quite a while now um so uh, we're gonna say move data 8 dot bin and we just call it uh, data uh, data dot gz hit enter and we say gzip2 uh, and decompressed data dot gz hit enter data uh, we hit enter and yeah that is ascii text so cat and we'll say data hit enter and that gives us the password so there we are the password is the following all right so uh we can now go on on to level 13 which entails uh, various other linux commands and challenges that we're going to be taking a look at in the next video so uh, i'll be seeing you then